Hi there, this is Jar Alexo from ProSite Tutorials and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to explain how you can hire a virtual assistant using Upwork. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first question is why do you want to hire a virtual assistant? Well, if you are building your internet business, it gets to a point where there are several tasks that you need to get done because they're important for your business, but at the same time, they are very time consuming and monotonous. For example, in my case, I publish ebooks in Kindle Amazon and I need to get reviews for each one of these books. It's not that I don't know how to get the reviews, but if I waste my time getting them, then I don't have enough time to produce the most profitable work for me. For example, producing this YouTube videos or getting more ebooks done and published. So I prefer to outsource some part of my work, especially the work that I know that someone else can easily get it done. The type of jobs that you can outsource to your virtual assistants or freelancers, I mean, it really depends on the, the type of business that you have. As I said previously, in my case, I get virtual assistants to get reviews my, for my ebooks, but you can also use them for other things. You can hire someone to write a book for you or to make a video for you or even to manage your social media networks. It really depends on what you want. Now, for you to start using Upwork, you need to go to their website, which is Upwork.com. And then you want to click on this link that says sign up. Then you have two options. Of course, if you are watching this video, you want to choose the first option, which says I want to hire a freelancer. But if you also want to be a freelancer and get some work for someone else, you can also choose this second option. In my case, I'm going to choose the first option because I want to hire someone. And then basically you just need to fill out the required information over here. You have two options over here. If you are working for a company, then you just choose the first option. If you are an individual, then you just choose the second option. And just fill this information. And then you click over here. I recommend for you to first read the terms of service belonging to Upwork. Uh, user agreement and also privacy policy and then just check this box over here and press the get started button okay so once you are in Upwork dashboard you want to click on your name on the top section once you do you want to go to settings now you want to fill out all of the required information in my info page and then you want to go to billing methods. Over here you will see that you have two forms of payment. You can either use a credit card or you can use PayPal. I prefer to use PayPal for this, but it's really up to you. Once this is done, you are ready to get a job. So you just go to jobs and you post a job. Now you have two options to choose from. You have the first one is if you want a freelancer to do a small work for you. As you can see, less than 30 hours a week, less than three months, flexible commitment. Now if you want someone for a, basically a full-time job to work for you for 30 hours a week, three months, and weekly commitment available needed, then you choose the second option. In my case, I calmly choose the first option because I just need uh, a virtual assistant for a smaller work. So I just choose select. In this page, you want to choose the type of job that you want to get done. I have this first option called reuse previous job because I already posted jobs in Upwork. But in your case, you want to choose a category. I commonly go to admin support and I choose personal virtual assistant. But of course for you it may be something else. You can even hire someone to translate work for you, to write a book for you or whatever you want. But posting a job in Upwork is pretty much always the same process as the one I'm showing to you now. So I'm just going to choose personal virtual assistant in my case. Then you want to choose a title for your, your job. 
I like to make this very clear and very obvious because this is the title that your freelancers will be able to see. So I put something like, I need someone. I need a VA. Something like this. I probably wouldn't exactly put this title, but it's pretty obvious about what I want. And I put this all in caps, which is not something that I typically do. Then you want to put a description of the type of job that you want to get done. So you put a few more details of what you want. I want a VA to for a book I have in Kindle, Amazon. Of course, you want to put the details of your work over here. This is pretty basic. Uh, how many freelancers do you need to hire for this work? In this case, it fits just for one book that I have at the moment. I just hire one freelancer because I just need one freelancer. Now, if I have several books in, in Kindle Amazon, then I probably need uh, two or more virtual assistants to do the work. And of course, this depends on the type of work that you have. So I'm just going to keep this first option. Then you enter skills needed. So virtual assistant. And you put the, the type of skills that you are looking for. And I'm just going to leave it this way, virtual assistant. Whatever project do you have, in this case, it's just a one-time project. But you also have other options depending on the type of job that you want to post. How would you like to pay? This is something that I typically discuss uh, once I, I have someone interested on my work. This is something that I discuss with that person in private. So over here, I'm just going to put a fixed price or you can also pay per hour. And I'm just going to put the minimal value of $5. And then this is the, the type of experience that you want your freelancer to have. I'm just going to select entry level in this case. And only over here you can, do you want freelancer to find and apply to your job? In this case, I'm just going to put only a pork users can find this job. But if you want to just uh, only the, the freelancers that you invite to, to basically reply to your job, you can choose this third option. But this gives me the option of inviting people and also people that are in a pork that are interested in my job requesting it. In this case, I'm just going to leave this in blank. And basically, this is all that I that I do. And then I just post a job. I can also save this as draft if I later on want to, to check it. But in this case, I'm just going to post job. Now, in this page, you can start inviting freelancers. And I'm going to show to you how you can do this. Anyway, one thing that I... I always do is I have a notepad in this case this is blank but I have a notepad with several lines explaining exactly to my freelancers what I want them to do and also how much I will pay them okay and what happens is you will start receiving messages from several freelancers that are interested in your work and by having this information already done in a in a notepad then you just need to copy and send it to them and see if they are actually interested and capable of doing your work. So for example, I want one, I want my freelancers to swap reviews in with other authors. I will pay, let's say pay $1.5 review so I have something like this with all of the instructions that I will then give to my freelancers 
And this really depends on the work. If you have something that is more complicated, you can even talk to them through uh, through camera and basically explain exactly what you want them to to do before you hire someone to perform your job. Now, for you to to hire a virtual assistant, I don't recommend for you to immediately inviting all of these people over here because some of them aren't just specialized on the kind of job that you want to get done. So what I do, for example, in my case, I go to this search box and I write Kindle. And basically this will filter all of the freelancers that have something related to Kindle. Okay, as you can see, I have over here a list of several freelancers. I actually have several pages of freelancers and they have something in common with Kindle and it's exactly the I'm trying to hire someone that knows something about Kindle and how to get reviews because I don't want to waste my time with a freelancer that simply has no experience in performing this kind of task and it also depends on the kind of task that you want to get done sometimes you might even need to do a video explaining in detail what your freelancer needs to do so what I do now is I go to the profile of several freelancers and I check their profile and see if they have any kind of experience in this case uh, getting reviews in Kindle in Kindle Amazon I see their success rate this person has a good success rate of 97% the number of jobs that they already did and I check their profile in detail I also see the other jobs that they already have performed and as you can see in this case I wouldn't actually ask this person to join my job because they don't seem to have anything related to what I'm looking for so I would repeat the same process and go to another profile and basically do the same and then once I find someone that has some kind of experience in doing this kind of task, what I do is I just press post job to invite. So I can invite this person to my job and see if they are actually interested in doing my job. And lastly, this is uh, an example of the messages that I exchange with my freelancers before hiring them. And as I said previously, if you have a job that is more complex, you might want to do a video interview. You can do that by clicking on this option over here and you can start a video interview with this person or another freelancer, or you can also use Skype for this purpose. So this is a, an example of the conversation that I had with this freelancer. And below, these are the requirements that I asked from this freelancer. This is exactly what I basically have in a blank notepad so I can easily copy and paste it to several uh, freelancers see if they are actually specialized in doing the tasks that I demand from them and if they actually want to do my job. If you would like to learn more about Kindle publishing which was something that I spoke sporadically throughout this video and it's something that I'm doing at the moment and it's a great way for you to start doing some money online which basically consists on you publishing uh, ebooks on Amazon Kindle, then I recommend for you to check out one of the best courses on the internet called My Kindle Publishing. All you need to do is just click on the link that you can see on the description from this video and check out the course and see if it's something that you want to start doing. Anyway, that is all for this video. Please leave a comment if you have any kind of question right below or leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about internet marketing and WordPress. That is all for now, stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials and bye!